take a screwdriver, work it in, and get underneath and pull out the spring to where I can slip a tie wrap behind it. And the tie wrap is underneath it. I'll simply grab it with needle nose pliers, pull it through, latch it. I'll lift the spring off the post and slip a second tie wrap through it just to be on the safe side because I want to be able to return the spring to its normal position should I ever need to. I found it's actually easier to lift the spring off of the post with the tie wraps and then use a screwdriver to lever it off to the side. And there we're done. I'll tuck the tie wraps into the cushion and we should be good. Okay, I've repeated the process on the other side. You can see the tie wraps tucked in underneath on both sides. Not visible from any normal angle. Now we'll tip the seat back and see how we do. Headrest came forward just fine and voila! Headrest is down. If I lift it up, it's back sturdy, will not rock. And I just need to tip the seat forward again to have it restored to the full back position and stay back. Here's the rear view mirror view with the seats up and the headrests up. Here's the rear view mirror view with the seats up and the headrests in the down position. Looking back from the front seat, here's the rear view view, and the same view with the headrests in the down position.